Hey everyone, so today I am doing this winter autumn inspired makeup tutorial for all of my followers in the southern hemisphere. It's currently autumn but it feels like winter so I thought I would do this really appropriate look and this was totally inspired by Chloe Boucher I think that's how you say her name I'll link her down below she's like my number one girl crush at the moment so yeah I'll link the picture I was inspired by down below and this is a collaboration with my good friends here on YouTube Sally and Anna and Liv and Gio we all did a winter autumn inspired look for you guys some glamorous some wearable you know I hope you guys enjoy it I'll put their links down below so you can check out the videos after this one So to start, I'm going to begin by prepping my skin. I'm using a little bit of this Urban Decay All Nighter Spray stuff first, and then I'm going in with the Smashbox Hydrating Primer because in autumn and winter, my skin kind of dries out a little bit more than normal. So I'm just applying that all over my skin. And then my texture is a little bit uneven, so I'm just going to use a little bit of Skin Perfection across the areas which need a little bit of smoothing out. Underneath my foundation, just for a little bit of a warm glow, I'm using this Becca Opal Skin Shimmering, I don't know, Illuminating Liquid. I'm making this up. I don't know what it's actually called. I'll list it down below. But yeah, I'm just putting this on the top of my cheekbones, forehead, and on the bridge of my nose. And then for my foundation today, I'm using this YSL Fusion Ink, I think it's called. I always forget the name of this, I don't know why. And I'm just using a EXO Beauty flat top brush to blend this out all over my face nice and evenly. And then I'm going to use a little bit of a heavy duty concealer just on some areas I want more coverage. Um, this one here is by Kevin Aquan. it's the Sensual Skin Enhancer I think it's called. So I'm just putting that where I've got a little bit of redness around my nose and on a zit and etc. I'm blending that out as you do. Because of the cooler weather and we lose our tan and everything, I want to add a little bit of an artificial glow. So I'm using a cream bronzing product because I find this looks really, really natural and kind of like you're glowing from within. So I'm just applying that to the high points of my face and around my nose and cheekbones and all those kinds of areas. And then once I've done that, I am going to conceal under my eyes, get rid of those bags. And of course we want to set everything down for the day so I'm using a pressed powder this is MAC Studio Fix and the brush I'm using is a bronzer brush by EXO Beauty just applying that all over and blending it out really nicely so I don't look powdery and nasty <laughs> and then just to brighten up my under eye area I'm using a little bit of well rested on this tapered face brush by EXO Beauty just applying that under my eyes in a triangular shape just to almost highlight my under eye area and cheekbones and really set that concealer down so it doesn't crease at all. Now I'm using this NYX blonde pomade stuff. Um, I don't know how I felt about this, like I don't feel like it gave me enough definition. Although I really like how my brows came out but yeah the actual product as you can see it's kind of like sheer. I don't know. I'll experiment with it some more but I'm topping it off with my favourite L'Oreal brow plumping stuff because this just makes my brows look amazing. I love it. <laughs> After priming my eyelids I'm going in with the skin tone um, eyeshadow colour and I'm taking a big fluffy brush and just blending that all over my eye just so that all of my other eyeshadows go on really smoothly and blend out really nicely. Now I'm taking this really warm tone kind of peachy colour and this is a tapered crease brush and I'm putting that in my crease. Your past won't catch you now. Now I'm taking this warm chocolatey brown colour and on the same kind of brush I'm just going to apply this on the outer kind of V of my lid, like on the outer very third or so and then on the inner part as well. It's kind of easier if you just watch what I'm doing because it's hard to explain. So I'm leaving the centre of my eyelid bare and then also putting a little bit into the crease as well just to deepen it up and make my eyes look more defined. 
make sure you keep your blending brush handy so you can continue continuously blend it out so it looks nice and flawless oh my gosh tongue tied much um, and I'm just building up the color so that it looks nice and deep you can do it as dark or as light as you like I wanted it quite dramatic To warm up my crease, I'm taking a blendy brush and using this Illamasqua blush in my crease and I just feel like it kind of ties everything together. It really warms up the area and just makes it look so much more put together. I'm also applying a little bit under my eye and then following up with that orangey chocolatey shade, I'm putting that under my eye as well just on top, right underneath my lashes just to define my eyes. Now to pull everything together I'm just taking this highlighter shade and I'm applying that on the very center of my eyelid just to brighten up that area where we didn't really put any dark browns or anything and I'm also going to apply it to my brow bone. On the top lash line I decided to do some eyeliner so I'm just using a little bit of a liquid and I'm doing a semi thin line and I'm using a little bit of gel eyeliner in my tight line as well just to thicken up the appearance of my lashes following up mascara and false eyelashes the eyelashes I'm going to be using today are called EXO Beauty the Wonderlust and they look so pretty and wispy with this look like I'm so obsessed Now I am going in with a little bit of bronzer just to kind of deepen up that bronze look that I started doing earlier with the cream bronzer. I'm just applying it in the same places and also contouring with this product just to give myself a little bit of shape to my potato face. <laughs> just wishing somehow this dream will carry me and I swear for my blush, I went with a nice deep berry pink. I'm just applying that to the normal area where I would normally put my blush on and blending it out really, really well. And then to make sure my highlighting game is on point, I'm starting with a cream color base. And this works totally fine onto a powder, by the way. It's kind of designed that way. I don't know how it works. It's sorcery. I don't know. And then I'm applying a powder highlight on top. And then to obviously finish off the look, we are starting with a berry toned lip liner and this most amazing lipstick, which you'll see in a second. And I'll list it down below because I can never remember what it's called. Loads of people have been asking me what this lip combo is. So this is it. It is so beautiful. And I feel like it might be, like this lipstick might be one that Chloe used. I can't remember. I think I bought it because of her, but I might be confused. I don't know, but I love it. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed with this color. Um, I'm just cleaning up my lip line with a little bit of concealer and then I felt like the eyes needed a little bit more berry tone. So I'm taking this deep kind of cranberry color and just applying that in the outer and inner corners of my eye again. Just blending that really well. I put a little bit underneath my lash line as well and that is the completed look. I love this look so freaking much. It might just be one of my favorite tutorials I have ever done slash makeup looks I've ever worn. I don't know. You know what I mean. So yeah, this is the completed look. If you enjoyed it, please thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know which video I should film next. Also, check down below for Chloe's link. She's the one who inspired this look if you missed it at the beginning. She is beautiful and her makeup looks are amazing. And of course, don't forget to check out everyone else's videos for this collaboration. All of these looks are so beautiful and I know you will love them and I know you will love these girls' videos as well. So their links will be down below. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Right? <laughs> I definitely think Zeus would rather eat it for himself though. Next up is my favorite time of the day. I'm sneaking past Hamish who's doing the dishes, not offering to help of course. That's his job because I could how it goes in this household <laughs> just kidding but seriously going into the bathroom check out that lipstick can we just like 